YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Jackie, and I'm here today with how I do my foundation. Um, right now, I'm looking a little ashy because I first thing I do is I put on my primer. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, so I'm just going to be talking really fast, so excuse me. All right, so the very first thing I do is I put on my primer, which is this. It's from Philosophy, and this is about 25 bucks. I love this stuff. Um, it makes your foundation look airbrushed, like it say on it. Only thing is, when you wear it by itself, like it recommend, it makes you look really, really ashy. So I don't recommend wearing it by itself, but it is a, a moisturizer and a primer. Okay, so I let that sit first. I let it dry. It's recommended time to dry about two minutes, but um, I had it on a little longer. Um, I'm going to use my MAC 187 brush. For my foundation, the foundation I'm using today is the Studio Fix Fluid in color NC50. It's really old, so you don't see anything on it because, um, yeah, it lasts a long time because I don't wear foundation every day. But, um, first thing I'm going to do is start on my cheek area. And I'm just going to buff that out. Circular motion. And I just like to make sure it's well blended. Um, because this brush, this brush is really big, it doesn't go under my eyes as good as I would like it to. So I use a smaller one. And my smaller one, um, this is number 188. It's a little dirty because I already used it. But, I mean, it's fine. I use it on myself. And I just use it today. And I just go under my eyes with that. Just so I can get a more precise... Um, what I'm also going to do is just take the leftover on that brush. I'm not adding any more. And just go over my neck. Because you want your neck to blend. With your face. So. Once I'm done with that. I usually let it sit for a little while. If I have the time. I never really have the time. So the next thing I'm going to use. I'm going to do Contour. Um, this one is so old, I can't read it. It's like in W55 or something. It's like one of the darker shades, like four shades darker. Um, I do like to contour my nose because it's a little flat here. And I like to contour my cheekbones also. So, um, I'm going to use this brush, which is a 227 brush. Um, most people use this brush for like, I have a little brush here. Only thing I don't like about those brushes, you always get hairs flying around everywhere. Um, most people use this brush to highlight under their brow. Um, it's great for that, but I like this one to contour. I don't really see many people use it for contouring. I actually have the contour brush front of I'm so sorry. This hair is driving me insane. But um, I like this one because I think it goes in really good. As you can see, it just goes right in where I want it to go. So, and 
And you're going to start pretty much inside where your inner eye is at and slide down. I mean, it's not supposed to be a drastic, noticeable um, contour. And I hope it's not because my mirror is far from me and I'm kind of like using the camera to see. And I don't want it to look wide between my eyebrows, so I kind of bring that in a little bit. And then give me that little... Okay. Next, I'm going to do under my cheekbones. And you're going to go the hollow area of your cheekbone. You could just kind of put your finger there and you feel where it goes in at. And some people already have that natural dark line, like myself. Um, if you can see, I already naturally have a darker line there. So I just pretty much follow that from right here. Make fish face. Mm -hmm. And just kind of work it through. And as you can see, that just kind of like define my bone structure and it just make my cheeks look a little more, you know. I mean, everybody don't want to look like that. If your face is hard already, then don't do it. Um, don't really have to. I don't usually put it up here. Because I have this part in the middle that I'm not used to, I'm just going to do my forehead just a little bit. Give it a little shading. Now, like I said, I usually don't do this. If you have a protruding forehead, this is what you would do. If your forehead is big and you want it to look smaller, you add a little bit of dark foundation on it and it makes your forehead look smaller. I don't have a big forehead, but for some reason this part in the middle gives that illusion. Maybe because I'm used to my bang. But, um, yeah. Okay, it's not blended out yet. I'm going to do that next. If y'all like, why oh, she got those hard lines? Next, I'm going to take this um, angle brush and this is... 160 brush and I'm going to use color medium plus and this is just for my highlight under my eyes I'm going to take some of that dust off the access and go right under my eyes and again I don't do this every day because I don't have the time in my life to I wish I can but yeah it's only 24 hours in a day and it just won't allow it And what that does is brighten up the eyes and make the face look a lot tighter. It makes you look fresher and younger. I mean, I'm young already, so. And I just put it there also. Just to bring out the diamond shape in my face. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, mineral powder. And all the products I'm using right now. Just so it happens to be MAC, I don't always use MAC every single day, but yeah, I'm using MAC right now. So I'm going to take um, my MAC Skin Finish in Dark, and I'm going to dust this all over my face. So I'm going to put my tip. And I'm using the um, 150 powder brush for MAC. Dust that off. And I'm going to put that in a circular motion. And the reason why I do this last because I just wanted to mesh everything, even though, you know, the contour and the highlight is still going to show. This is just going to, you know, bring it all together so you don't see any lines of demarcation. going to take a little of that, put it on my neck. Okay. So, next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Yeah, I don't really have a um, particular way that I do it. I just, whatever I grab first, I use. Um, I'm going to use two different pencils, Spike and Stud. And like I said, I don't do this every day, but if I have the extra time, which is not that often, this is pretty much what I go through. And even though it's a lot, it looks very natural. And I'm going to use the Spike in front, 
of my brow. Can't really see. And I'm going to use stud at the ends of my brows. And stud is just a darker color. Of course, you don't want it real dark in the front. I don't know if that look crazy. I'm used to using a hand mirror to get my eyebrows. Sorry, I gotta block you guys. Hold on. All right. Um. Next, I'm gonna take my spoolie and just brush that out. Make sure that there's no hard lines of demarcation. Ready? Um, I'm then gonna take only thing I'm not using for Mac today. Um, my Makeup Forever Concealer Palette, and I'm gonna take the lighter shade, which is the middle, and I'm gonna take um, this brush. I don't know. What, oh, this is a Sephora brush. I don't know. It's real old. I don't even remember buying it. But um, I'm going to take that brush, flat brush, and just go right under my brow. On the high point of my brow. And just blend that out. Next product I'm not using for MAC, which is one of my favorite products, is um, Black Radiance Bronzer. The con, the color came off, but it's, you know, the darker shade one they have. And um, I'm going to take the darker shade and go right below the front part of my brow. It's kind of opposite from how you use the um, pencil. You use the lighter shade in the front. Well, most people don't do that. I like to do that. To use two different colors. And I use a lighter shade right here. And I put it at the end of my brows. Um, I use this bronzer also. Like if I'm in a rush, I use it. And I usually do the highlight right here down my nose. Um, actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to use my, um, 165 brush, and I get some of everything. Dust that off. I'm going to go right down my nose, brighten that up, a little across my forehead, on my chin. And for over my eyes, I'm going to use, because I just bought this and I like it, the um, MAC Golden Bronze. And of course, by all means, you can achieve this look using cheaper products. I have cheaper products that I use also, but this was out already, so this is what I use. This one I'm using. And I'm going to just take a little bit of that on my um, highlight brush and put that right here. So I'm going to bring dust that up and that's going to come from like right there um below my eye above my cheek. You kind of feel that part protruding and you just want it to come out a little more. So you add that highlight. And I'm going to do the next side. 
I'll just adapt because this one's a little brighter to my black radiance. Let's center my nose. Okay. Um, next, I am going to use my blush. This is a new blush also. Um, I usually use raisin. I use different types of brushes. I get addicted to them probably for like two, three weeks at a time. Then I move on. So my next one um, that I started using yesterday is Breezy. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that using my um, one oh nine brush. And I'm going to dab that on the apple of my cheeks. And I go straight up. Um, I don't do the temple part unless my hair is all up. And depending on the hairstyle that I'm wearing, for the most part, I just bring it back to my hairline. And I do stippling. I don't really brush it on. I like to stipple it on because that's just what I like. A little bit on my um, nose, a little bit on the sides, and a little bit down there. Just so, you know, I won't be looking pink in one spot. I mean, you don't want your face to look pink, but you do want it. And I'm going to take my um, 150 brush again. I didn't add anything extra on it. I'm just going to buff everything together so everything just mesh. And I'm doing a really natural look. I'm not doing the whole fancy eyes and, you know. I know I added on a lot to get the natural look, right? But that's the beauty of it. You can put on a lot without looking like you have on a lot. I added a lot of stuff, but a little bit of everything, so to speak. So now I'm going to take, to mesh everything together, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever, um, Translucent powder HD and Mac make ones like this also and I love Mac But to me this one is way better than the Mac one. The Mac one is great too. It just melts everything together and It has your face looking beautiful all day so I'm gonna put some on my same brush So, hopefully you guys don't feel like I rushed through this. I just didn't want this to be like a long movie just looking at me make up my face. And um, for my lips, what color do I feel like wearing? All my lip colors are always natural. But I'm now in love with Pink Nouveau. But I don't like Pink Nouveau on my lips by itself. I look really, really, really strange like a drag queen when I just put it on by itself. So, um... I'm going to use this Sephora um, Rusted Rose, and I love this color. It's really soft and natural, but it gives you like a nice pink hue. I'm going to use that first. Put that on. And right after, I'm going to put on my Pink Nouveau by MAC. And just a little, because I don't want to look like a he. Yeah, I said it. I don't want to look like a he. And this makes me look like a he sometimes. And I just discovered this way the other day. I put it on top of the gloss, and it doesn't come as, as strong. So, um, that's pretty much it for my everyday look um of course for eyeliner if you feel you want to put some eyeliner on um i don't do the eyeliner all the time this one is makeup forever i 
I don't do eyeliner every day at all unless I'm going out because I feel like um it's just a pain in the butt when I'm like washing my face at night so um yeah that's my everyday look um after it's all oxidated last but not least I one second use oh here we go my MAC fix spray and I just do a couple of squirts of that so I won't be looking ashy or anything and it just melts everything together again and it's so refreshing yeah I know when I do my makeup on the train yeah I do I'm one of those I do my makeup on the train and you know I put that on people was looking at me like look at this diva she's a mess I know I can't I make people sick sometimes when I do that, but whatever, it's my face. They don't need to worry about it. But I could see people looking at me like, "Why? What is that she sprayed on her face?" You know, people who's not into that stuff. The non divas, they don't know. They don't know. We gotta go through this. We don't have to go through this, but we go through this because we like it. All right. So that is my full foundation regimen, and I guess a little, you know, the face thing. You know, for the flawless face and the flawless foundation, and um. It doesn't really look like I'm wearing much. It's still really natural, but I still have like those contours and the highlights and you know, all that other stuff. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys took some stuff from this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Deuces. See you on the next one. It's coming real soon.